Hi, my name is Chris Netto, I'm a member of FAS and of the Tench Fishers. To follow us a short video to run you through uh, the uh, Tench teaching of 2022. Tench Fishers have worked with FAS for a number of years now. Um, since it started, the only gap has been uh, 2021 when we're all uh, afflicted and affected by the COVID situation. The relationship with the Tench Fishers and FAS started when uh, the Tench Fishers donated a trophy for the best uh, Tench caught out of French and Great Pond each year. From there, it's grown into a regular teaching once a year held at Summer Pit on the Yateley Complex. You get the advice and instruction for some really great anglers. Uh, it's an opportunity not to be missed, really. Summer Pit's a lovely intimate water. It seems to suit the numbers that we get quite well. Um, the introduction of some carp recently has uh, spiced up the experience a little bit if you do get a carp run in the middle of the year session. If you are interested in fishing, uh, attending the teaching next year, do just get in touch with the club and they'll give you the details. It's normally at the beginning of July. It's a great little event and I have to say as one of the team that uh, assists in it, it's, uh, I enjoy it as much as the members seem to. See you then. Uh, hiya, my name's Gemma. Um, yeah, I've, I've come along for the tench fishing teaching today. And what sort of fishing do you normally do, Gemma? Uh, mainly carp fishing. Um, I do a little bit of everything, a little bit on the rivers. Um, but yeah, mainly carp fishing. And what made you interested to come along to do a tench fishing teaching? Um, well, I've only ever really been tent fishing like once or twice. Um, it's just something that I, I was interested in. I, I like tench one of my favourite fish um, so I just thought I'd come along and, and, and learn a bit um, yeah I enjoy learning trying to improve my fishing um, so yeah that's really what I'm hoping to get out of it. Then Arby and Bob Buto did this talk and they were talking about swing tips and it, it was around that time they were experimenting with the ultimate length of the swing tips yeah. yeah so they set up some rods yeah, and three rods. Yeah, so there was one with a monkey climber, one with a bobbin, and one with a swing tip. Yeah, and they've got a set of really sensitive scales. Yeah, and they're down the room. Yeah, and you've got the line loop around the thing, and they're pulling. Yeah, from the, these scales. And he's going right. It's one ounce, two ounce pull, three ounce pull, four ounce pull. Like in the monkey climber, it was about five pounds before it. Yeah, I know when climber. it went up. Yeah. So then they go along the, the bobbin, yeah, and that was still quite amazing, the outbit, yeah, and then they do the long swing tip, and it was almost instant, yeah, the tip's gone up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Thank you. 